Welcome back. So as we continue integrating Sonar Cube, in this section we are going to look at updating the Maven settings. In order for Maven to talk to Sonar Cube, we need to add a Maven profile. So I'm going to head over to the Atom editor and we are going to add the Maven profile as defined here. So basically what it ensures is that when you do run the bill, it's able to talk to the Sonar instance that's running on port 9000. Once this has been added, we're going to make some changes to our DevOps project. The three major changes that we need to make sure to our project is we need to add the Maven Surefire plugin, which basically runs the test as part of your build process. And it generates certain XML that's actually used by Sonar to further do the analysis. And once that's been added, we need to run the Maven Sonar target to initiate the Sonar analysis and the integration of the code with the sonar tool. So let's head over and let's add the profile to our M2 settings. I'm going to open my M2 folder and in the first instance I'm going to add M2 to my local profile which is my user profile. I'm going to head over to the settings.xml and we are going to copy the profile that's part of the profile section and add it under the default artifactory poli profile prof policy. And let's copy the token that we use to generate going to copy that token from there and include it as part of the sonar login. So within Maven settings we are basically told that we have another profile called sonar and it's not active by default and it talks to the instance on 9000 port and that's the login token that it's going to use. So now that we have made this change, let's go ahead and save it, which I have done. And in the next section, we're going to see how to make the changes to our DevOps project to integrate with Sonar using the Sonar profile that's been added.